Hello everybody and welcome to my second vlog on the channel. Today is the big day for St. Patrick's Athletic as we play Legia Warsaw again for the uh, second time in the second leg. Uh, tonight it'll be in Tal Stadium so I'm absolutely yeah, ready, uh, really pumped for it and I'm ready to go hopefully. And uh, it's just a kind of a pre-match build up. Unfortunately the Europa League teams won't be playing until tomorrow so it's all about uh, us tonight and uh, the objective is to get through we have one away goal but unfortunately they got the uh, 90th minute equalizer as you'll remember so it's either a nil nil draw or you know we need to uh, beat them on the night uh, one all draw would take it extra time tonight and any more away goals for legio would probably send them through and uh, well the good news is well i didn't personally want it but for many people the opportunity to play celtic in the uh, third uh, qualifying round will be absolutely sensational uh, the crowds will be even bigger than for this game so uh, it could even go to the Aviva Stadium and obviously a lot of travelling support would want to go to uh, see them at Murrayfield or wherever Celtic want to play so the opportunity to perhaps get one over on one of the country's most popular teams uh, will be absolutely in incredible but tonight is the night we have to uh, put in a good performance it doesn't necessarily have to be a winning performance but um, obviously it will be so good to beat Legia because uh, I've been reading some of their uh, uh, sort of the Polish media and their uh, personal website, uh, the official website, I should say, and they've been saying uh, quite rude things, sort of, uh, you know, saying that, you know, we're we play the, f the game as a hobby, whereas for uh, Legia it's a way of life. Uh, that would obviously be completely wrong, in my opinion, since uh, we can't afford to... Uh, give the players a uh, way of life treatment uh, it has to be a, a part-time uh, live make a it has to be a part-time job to make a living here in the league of ireland and uh, tonight will go a long way to changing uh, the destinies of this league if at all possible and um, the, p the team played superbly in poland as i said in the last vlog and i don't think there are going to be any changes uh joe bryan it seems to be okay as does killian brannan he had a, a minor problem in training and um <coughs> i don't know about legia either because uh, their striker orlando sa he was injured uh by a tackle from uh, ken oman very early on in the game but they've got so many threats uh from top to bottom that uh, we can't expect a victory tonight uh the goalkeeper for, for example uh, dusan kuschak and um, sounds very like thomas kuschak but uh, he was sensational in the game against us in the first leg so uh, to get another goal past him would uh, take some doing but I felt they didn't cope at all well with our uh, attacking wing, wing backs when the time was needed for them to attack and uh, I praise Liam Buckley for that uh, you know staying faithful to his favorite tactic but uh, obviously there's a long way to go uh, they've got some good players like uh, Koscicki he was a Polish under 21 international and then there's the um, who else was it um, I think uh, Zyro, I think Mikhail Zyro is meant to be a good player as well. Um, they have the uh, veteran striker Saganowski. Uh, you know, they've got f all sorts of decent players. They have a Brazilian, I don't know if he's still at the club or not, but uh, they have all sorts of attacking options and midfield options, but they've been doing very badly in the league. I have to mention that in their preseason. Uh, they lost another game over the weekend, so they'll either be raring to go tonight or they'll be under intense scrutiny and pressure and they won't be able to live up to it so um <coughs> we'll just have to hope um the attacking pro process i think we will need to rely on keith fahey again uh he was excellent alongside greg bolger to help uh, the team through in that midfield battle uh killian brennan obviously will need to uh do his job get the distribute the ball get it um to whoever who's free don't give it away cheaply and of course uh, the man who scored in the first leg uh, christy fagan uh, a goal from him again would send uh, Tala into uh, delight, I'm sure. Would be cheering into orbit, I'm sure. But uh, honestly, I, I can't really predict. Um, if I had to say realistically, Legia will win 2 1, which would be uh, extremely disappointing. But uh, hopefully, we get the result we deserve because uh, it would mean so much to the club. This, is, this may be our last chance for another decade since uh, the last time Pats played in Europe was the year 99 2000. Um, and we played uh, the hoops back then and we lost so uh, it would be great to get a bit of payback but um, certainly whatever happens happens and I'm delighted the game will be sold out and uh, 
certainly if the European journey ends for us here, as uh, a loss will knock the uh, people out of Europe for good for another year. I do hope that uh, the other European candidates for uh, the League of Ireland, particularly Sligo, get through. We won't uh, know until tomorrow night, but uh, it's all about the Super Saints tonight. And um <coughs> yeah, so I really hope if you can watch the game uh, or keep an eye on the live feeds, uh, please do so. It would mean a lot if you're a League of Ireland fan or a general football fan. And uh, I'll be there. I'll be in uh, one of the yes. Uh, I think the East Stand or something. It's like uh, for the non-singing section. I'll be there, and uh, we we'll have to give it our best shot. Like we have uh, basically the best team we could play. To be honest, we've got Chambers and all them on the bench. Uh, Dal Cavanagh, I think he's there as it was Quigley, who had to come on in the second half uh, for Chris Forrester. But otherwise, we're in the best possible shape we could be. Our manager has uh, great faith in us uh, and his players, and hopefully the fans who uh, show can give the uh, Super Saints the necessary leverage to possibly get through. But uh, a nil-nil will do. We don't have to uh, over ex uh, we don't have to over pr pr perform to uh, get a result. But um, whatever happens, happens. And if, I if we do win, there'll be another vlog tonight. And uh, there'll be all sorts of uh, great chatter and uh, celebrations. So uh, fingers crossed that I'll be coming home happy and uh, the sun absolutely shining outside and uh, hopefully the spirits remain high but uh, if we lose this game it happens but you know we'll, got, we'll try and defend the league title to our uh, best of our abilities but maybe this is our last chance of uh, a European journey in the Champions League so uh, hopefully Legia get cocky they perform poorly and get knocked out so we can play Celtic and uh, hopefully John Delaney will be watching since uh, that'll be hilarious uh, if we humiliate him again so uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll speak again soon Bye now.